So this is a Trosca that John sent me over. Big thanks to John. Very well built micro. This particular one, and I'm going to cover it on his uh, website. I'll show you on the iPad in a minute. This particular one is like totally blacked out. Very cool case back, signed crown, really nice clasp. All of the features that we come to expect with most micro brands. But you can see nice applied indices, nice handset. This is a no date. Screw down crown, but 100 meter water resist. Nice uh, pop to the crown when it comes out. And then that first position, you have a nice wind on the NH38 movement. And then you have the next position is a hack and a time set. There is no um, intermediate uh, false date function or anything. So it's, you know, it's purpose done for this design. Um, real quick before I move on to a bunch of other stuff, I will show you a quick loom shot. Um, I checked it earlier. It's not, you're not going to get crazy loom out of this. There is some loom, um, but it's, it's not like amazing or anything, but there is loom. So, all right, let me get these lights back on. So I just wanted to move on from that because... I think my last video, the Nighthawk video, I forgot to do the loom shot. And I know everyone wanted to see the loom shot on that. Again, the Nighthawks are, are not crazy loom either. But um, I just, I got a lot of junk going on in my personal life right now. So I'm a little distracted mentally. But the coating on this watch is really good. I do, I do like the case back. I know you don't see it, but it is kind of a cool case back. It's smooth. And uh, unfortunately, I have seen some micros in the past where... They do a bunch of work to the case back, but it ends up being like sharp edges in it. And you notice that on the wrist. This one wears uh, nice and smooth on the wrist, and that's important. You have the solid end links. You know, nice, simple, um, solid oyster-style bracelet, fold-over clasp. Nice bezel action. This, this particular one has a... Um, there you go. You can hear the clicky-clicky. It's nice. Lines up good. A um, little bit of play, not much. Nothing to get upset about there at all. Um, we're going to throw this on the watch polygraph because I want to show you something on that. But before we do that, I want to, well, here, let's, I didn't size this. It is a little tight on my wrist, so I'm not going to clasp it down. But you can see it wears great because I'm pretty sure this is a 40, 40 mil. But we'll look at his website here real quick because I want to show you a couple of color combinations that he has that I think are kind of outside the box and uh, look really cool. I know we got reflections on the iPad and all that stuff, so we'll try to minimize that. But if we look at his website, it's a very nice looking website. I do like his uh, logo and everything. Um, we're gonna look at, this is called the Free Diver. We're gonna go ahead and discover more. Slow internet. So we're looking at the automatic NH38 movement. 316L, blah, 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 drilled lugs. Double dome, anti-reflective sapphire crystal. That's always nice. 120 click. We, we check that out. This particular one does have the sapphire um, bezel. There's also a stainless steel option for the bezel, which personally, I'm a big fan. I think in the black, obviously, you, you're going to go with this design. Um, with the sapphire, I think that's going to be the, your most wear resistant and everything. But I'm a big fan of the metal bezels. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. It does have the BGW9 loom, which is, is nice. You know, it's not it's not Seiko amazing or anything. So it is a 40 millimeter, 48 lug to lug, 12.5 thickness. So really great dimensions, 20 mil lug width. And then it tapers down to an 18. There's the prices. And then he's got some good stock photos here. But the main thing I wanted to show you, and this was a model that, uh, again, I heard on Two Broke Watch Snobs, but... Um, yeah, it's hard to see there, but this, I think I'm, I'm going to have to look at a, so he's got that crazy like sea foam. And I know that's, uh, you know, artist rending, rendering or whatever, but um, really cool like sea, I don't know, like a mint, I guess. I don't know what color you guys would call that. But that with this all steel bezel, I don't know why. I think that looks really cool. 
I like it. I like the daring, bold type um, change from the norm of colors. And when um, certain ones do that, I, th I think it really looks good. And I'm really, I'm sure there's some name brand companies that are doing the the different colors than the norm. But it seems like it's some really good micro brands that are daring enough to um, try that. And then you have a bunch of information here. I, uh, I'll put a link to his website in the description. Um, you know, it gives you all the details on the builds. And then there's a bunch of, oh, there we go. Doesn't that look cool? I, it, it does look good with the sapphire bezel, it does. I don't know if it would look as good with the um, the stainless. Oh, let me just scroll through. Yeah, so there it is. Ah, man, I really like that. And I know a lot of people probably won't, but I, I dig it. I think it's cool. So, all right, so let's cut away from that. I'll turn this light back on. Now I want to show you. We're gonna we're gonna have the watch take the polygraph. Okay. Um, not all watches take the polygraph. I'm gonna get this uh, this watch. I was checking some stuff. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I was uh, kind of surprised. I don't know. I didn't read this uh, website, so I don't know if he actually does a whole lot with it. So we're going to go ahead and run the uh, polygraph. I'm going to leave the sound on because it's kind of cool to listen to tick, 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 tick. So we have, I all I did was hand wind this. I didn't even wear it or anything. So I bet you it would even be better if you wore it for a little while and everything. Beat errors out, the lift angle's right, um, amplitude's really high, and we have just a little bit of plus going on there. And that's with dial up. And most most of us watch fans that have the automatic watches prefer them to run just a touch fast. This watch is doing that exactly right out of the box. So no complaints there. So if the watch design looks good to you and the price is where you think it's, you know, comfort in your comfort zone, I think this is definitely a contender. I don't I don't see any problems here. Like this is this is a legit good design watch. So let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, there's some definitely good stuff out there with the micro brands. And he's got some cool packaging too. The, um, the G-Man climbed in there. So he likes it. So I'll see you on the next video.